can't believe this! Hey! I just found a great ad in the newspaper. Listen to this. I am a fan of Jem and the holograms. No accounting for taste. And I'm willing to offer an enormous financial reward to anyone who can supply me with the secret of Jem's real identity. Hmm. Don't If you have any information, please contact me. And listen to how he signs it. An extremely desperate fan. Yeah. Wait, you're missing the point. Huh? All right. This guy's the key to destroying Jem's career. Come on, let's go meet a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Too shabby. It's truly, truly uh -huh. What a lousy song. Oh, you must be the ones who have the information about Jem's identity. Please come in. I'll notify Mr. Wentworth. Check this out. Wall to wall Jem. Not a pretty sight. Here he comes. Wow! It's the Misfits! <laughs> hello, 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 hello! I'm Prescott A. Wentworth III. Welcome to my home! Uh, thank you. Well, let's not waste any time, hmm? I've got the money, and I can't wait to know! Who is she? Uh, who? With Jim, of course! Uh, uh, oh, her, Will. We don't really know yet, but <clears throat> if you give us some time... You don't know? But why did you come? No! You said you knew! No! You said! What a brat! Yeah, but with that brat, we can ruin Jem. Let's talk, Prescott. Well, what are you doing? We don't know Jem's identity yet, Prescott, but we do have a plan. But I got my hopes up and everything! Uh, a plan? Oh, that's right. If you'll front the money for the whole operation, we'll get you Jem's real name. Well, what kind of operation? It's top secret. You'll have to leave everything to us. But of course, if you're not interested, Wait, wait! Sure, I'm interested. But I don't want Jem upset in any way. I'd rather die than do anything to hurt Jem. Us hurt anyone? All right, then. It's a deal. Jem? Yes? Kimber Benton sent me to drive you back to Starlight Mansion. She said to tell you that it's part of your birthday present. It's not my birthday. I just follow Kimber's instructions. All right, but this is crazy. Excuse me, but are you going in the right direction? Uh, this is a shortcut. I can't understand why Kimber would do this. She knows it's not my birthday. Uh, when is your birthday? June 1st. Not that it's important. June 1st, huh? That makes you a Gemini. Dual personality. Uh, right. Happy birthday, Jam! Wait a minute, it's not my... Come on! No, no it's not birthday, Jam! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, but it's really not my birthday! Stop! What's the matter, Jam? I'd like to talk to you, Kimber. Is this a joke? If anyone should know when my birthday is, it's my sister. Okay, then tell me who your sister is and I'll ask her. Ugh, I don't know what's the matter with everyone, but I don't think this is funny. Excuse me, everyone, but I'm exhausted and I'm going to take a nap. Oh, it's oh, no. to your it's too early. What is going on around here? Am I losing my mind?
Jim. I heard you screaming in your sleep, and I came in to check on you. It was just a nightmare, Rio. Want to tell me about it? It, it, it was about me and Jack. Oh, never mind, Rio. I, I can't really talk about it. What's the matter, Jim? Oh, I don't know. Everything's been so strange around here today. First, Kimber sends a limo to pick me up as my birthday present, and it's not even my birthday. And then the girls held a surprise party for me, and then Kimber... Oh, poor Jim. If the girls knew your real identity like I do... But how do you know? When did you find out? Who told you? Jim will be right back after these messages. And now, back to Jim. You know my real identity? But how? Jim, come on! Video's here with your birthday present. She's in the TV room. Come with us. But no buts, Jim. Everyone's waiting for you. All right. I hope Jim likes it. Here she comes. Video, are you a part of this too? <laughs> you bet. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay, here we go. What is this? Jim, this is your life. Great. Here she is, folks. Jim at age one, and isn't she cute? <laughs> but that's not... Shh, it's just the beginning. Even at age three, Jim was truly outrageous. And here's the proud mommy. That woman looks like me. Of course she does. She's your mother. But... And now Jim at age eight already pretending to be someone else. Who is she really, folks? That's enough! I, I feel like I'm losing my mind. Jim, why don't you just admit that you don't like the video? I can take it. Video, wait! You really hurt Video's feelings, Jim. She worked hard on your birthday present. But that wasn't me in the video. If that's true, then who are you, Jim? What do you mean? Who are you, really? I... I'm... I'm... She's gonna tell. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm... Wait a minute. Why are you acting like you don't know who I am? And why did Rio say he does? Something really weird is going on here, and I am not amused. Oh, man, I thought we had her for sure. They blew it. Yep, in a big way. Uh, maybe we should call this off. Jem is getting upset. No way! We didn't go to all this trouble for nothing. We've just got to increase the pressure. We're going to uncover her real identity if it's the last thing we do. Now look! We're not paying you actresses a small fortune for nothing. We want Jem's real identity. Hey, it's like not our fault, pizzazz. Jim's not, like, stupid. She knows something's up. We don't care. We want that information, and it's up to you to get it. We want to know who she is. That's right. Who is she? She acts like a queen, if you know what I mean. But she's in for a big surprise. Who is she? She thinks she's the best. about who is she i can't cope with all her hard tugging it makes me want to scream and shout who is she who is she anyway she ain't so fine who is she who is she anyway what she got that's better than mine who is she anyway what she Yeah, we're doing our best.
Jess, just give us one more chance. All right, but this is it. If Jem doesn't spill the beans, and soon, you gals are out of luck. No name, no money. Look, we rehearsed a long time for these roles, and you promised to pay us no matter what. I had my fingers crossed. Now put your face on again and get back to work! Where's Jem? I thought you were picking her up at Starlight Music. I thought so too, but when I got there, she was already gone. I thought she'd be back here by now. She's not here and she hasn't called. Hmm, that's not like Jem. She knows we have to rehearse for the concert tomorrow. I hope nothing's wrong. I'm worried. We better contact Synergy. Uh, what are you doing, Jem? I want to practice for our concert tomorrow night. So let's forget your practical joke and get started. Uh, we're kind of tired, Jim. Yeah, can't we rehearse this song later? No way! We've wasted enough time for today. Now let's go! One, two, tell me I'm crazy, tell me I'm lazy. What's wrong? Did you forget how to play your instruments? I guess we don't know that one, um... Aja, you're holding your guitar backwards. Oh, uh, sorry, Jem. I wasn't concentrating. All right, let's try this again. And one, and two. Tell me I'm crazy! Oh, they really blew it. If Jem didn't suspect something before, she will now. They're gonna have to think of something brilliant to get out of this mess. You're acting like you don't even know how to read music. Kimber, play me a chord. Me? Uh, I, uh, uh, oh, oh, Kimber! Are you all right, Kimber? Who, who are you? It's me, Jem! But I don't recognize you. Who are you, really? This is it. We've got her now. Right. Her entire image will be blown. Her career will be ruined in days. You promised that no harm would come to Jem. Pipe down, Pressy. But, but, but you know who I really am, Kimber. I'm... Hi, everybody. Glad to see you rehearsing. Jerrica? Jem will be right back after these messages. And now, back to Jem. playing Jerrica not only showed up two hours late, but she came in exactly the wrong moment. Hey, can't we just call this off? I'm worried. You're the one that wanted to know her identity. Well, now you're going to find out. Can you tell us where Jem is, Synergy? She is in an exact replica of Starlight Mansion. What do you mean? I'll project it for you. That's impossible. It's us. And that's Jerrica with Jem. Correction. It is someone pretending to be Jerrica. And Jem is in danger of revealing her identity to these people. She is very confused. Can't you warn her, Synergy? No, it would be dangerous. Jem is being monitored by hidden cameras. We can't risk trying to contact her. But I can lead you to her. Good. Then we're going to get her out of there now. This is not funny. What do you mean? Who are you supposed to be? I'm Jerrica Benton, of course, your manager. Then who am I? That's what we'd like to know. Yes, who are you? Oh, no, you don't. I'm not telling you anything. You're all fakes and liars, and I'm getting to the bottom of this. If none of you will tell me the truth, I'm going to speak to someone who will. I'll tell you the truth, Jim. I'm calling this whole thing off. You're not going anywhere, Prescott. Now be a good little boy and sit back down. No way. You've upset Jem, and I didn't want that to happen. I don't even care who she really is anymore. I just want to forget this whole thing. Poor Prescott. It looks like we'll just have to keep him busy until we find out who she is. Do you think Prissy will be comfortable in the closet? No, I, I have to talk to Jem. Well, she has to know the truth. Hey, wait, what are you doing? No! Now stay there. 
Stop it! Get me out of here! Open the door! Will he be okay in there? He'll be fine. We'll let him out as soon as we get what we want from Jim. I hope we're not too late. Hold on, everyone. We're about to see what kind of stuff the Rock and Roadster is really made of. Synergy, you're my last chance. Ah! Everything's okay, Jim. You're in the hospital. A minor bruise. You smashed into a wall. What happened? Well, it's a long story. Several actresses were posing as us, trying to find out your real identity. They tried to make you think that you were in the real Starlight Mansion, but it was only a replica. I figured out they were fake. <laughs> I guess I learned the hard way that the mansion was a fake, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's fine now. When we showed up, the actresses ran off. The coast is clear. Well, then I think I've been Jem long enough. It's time to change back into my real self. That's the best idea I've heard all day, Jim. Hold your breath. Here goes. It shows... Wait! Jem, stop! Kimber! But I thought... They're all fakes, Jem. They're trying to find out your real identity. This hospital room isn't real either. Good try, girls, but the charade's over. Oh, yeah? How do we know that you're not the imposters? <gasps> uh, nice wig! Now you tell me who the imposters are. Uh-oh, let's get out of here. I'm like right behind you. We better get out of here, too. Not so fast. They still don't know about us. Maybe now that the real holograms are here, we'll finally find out what we want to know. Are you all right, Jim? I think so. I'm still a little confused. Why would they go to all that trouble to find out my real identity? I don't even know them. They weren't the only ones involved. Someone else has been watching you this entire time. And here's the camera. Show's over, whoever you are. Oh! Forget it, Pizzazz. They know we're here. I'm making a quick exit out the back door. Me too. Oh, the greatest moment of my life. Ruined. Oh! Oh, is it good to get out of there? Wait. Did you hear that? I sure did. Come on, follow me. In there. Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine, and I could explain everything. If you could just explain today and who was behind it. It's kind of a long story, Jim, and I'm very embarrassed to be part of it. It all started with an ad I put in the paper. You see, and then the misfits left me in the closet and <laughs> it took off. And I wanted to warn you, Jim, but I couldn't get to you. I really let you down, and I'm sorry. I'm not going to say it's all right, Prescott, and I wouldn't like to go through it again, but I appreciate your honesty. No hard feelings. Thanks. Now I'm ready to go home, to my real home. Jim, let me make it up to you. I'd like to sponsor your big concert tomorrow night and donate the proceeds to charity. Oh, that's, that's a nice gesture, Prescott, but... Please, let me do this, Jim. For the first time in my life, I'm not using my money to get something for myself. Okay, I'll accept your offer. And thank you. Now, come on, ladies, we've got a new song to rehearse. Uh, you do read music, don't you? What? <laughs> Never mind. See you at the concert tomorrow night, Prescott. Y yeah, uh, bye, and, and thanks. <laughs> Just as I believe in you, my friend I believe things 